as you plan here you're gonna trip marching force is not to be overlooked in this video you're gonna learn 16 things about visiting marching falls uganda including accommodations how to get there the best time to visit cruises hot air balloon safaris and more If you're planning a trip to Uganda, you no doubt will want to see some of the country's most inspiring attractions. And at the top of the list is Maction Falls. No online waterfall, Maction Falls is one of the most beautiful and powerful cataract waterfall in the world. Beyond this natural wonder is the surrounding national park which offers you a wealth of African wildlife and exciting adventures that range from game drives to near river cruises and cultural encounters. This fall is located in the northern Uganda, northwest of the capital Kampala and extends its boundaries to a number of districts within and beyond the Bunyoro escarpment including Nyuayo, Masindi, Chidiandongo and Busir. It's found on the northmost reaches of the Albert Rift Valley with its terrain bisected by the Victoria Nile. This game ranger is trying to explain to us as to why the name changed from Kabalega Falls to Maction Falls. During era before colonization of Uganda, at the time when missionaries and explorers arrived at the coast of East Africa on Indian Ocean, explorers John Speaker and James Grant visited and explored the area which is currently occupied by Maction Falls National Park. John Speak with his companion James Grant became the first Europeans to visit this area in the period between 1863 to 1864, the area was again visited by another couple of European explorers, that is Sir Samuel Baker and Florence Baker. The couple thoroughly explored the area and discovered Maction Falls, the greatest attractions in the area. Sir Samuel Baker named the falls after Lodrick Maction, a geologist, and the then president of the Royal Geographical Society. She's also saying that the area where Maction Falls National Park stretches through was initially occupied by three local communities, that is a Choli tribe who dominated the northeast lands of the park. Bunyoro dominated the south region and Aru dominating the northwest part of the region. In the period of 1907 to 1912, the area got infested by flies, who caused sleeping sicknesses to the locals through the bites. As a way of stopping the outspread of sleeping sickness, people occupying the area of approximately 13,000 square kilometers were evicted from the fly infested lands. In 1951, Maction Falls served as the background setting of the John Huston movie, African Queen, which starred Humpy Bogarty. These falls have been visited by many notable people such as Winston Churchill and the members of British royal family. The famous author Ernest Hemingway was flying into Maction Falls National Park for a visit. In 1954, when his plane crashed, Hemingway survived and was treated at the local hospital. The best time to visit these falls depends on what you plan to see and do. 
The national park can be visited throughout the year, but some months may be better than others. Generally speaking, the best time to visit Makshan Falls is between December and February as this is the dry season when it's much easier to spot wildlife. Just keep in mind that the temperatures can be unbearable hot during this time. During the months of April to May and October to November, the Makshan Falls area experiences heavy rains which can occasionally make roads inaccessible. On a brighter note, the wet season is one of the best times to see migratory birds and you may find reduced travel expenses during the low season. So June through September is the high season when most tourists are visiting the national park. This is when you will be more likely to enjoy relief from both heavy rains and high temperatures. Let's look at some of the activities to do in these falls. Let's start with the falls itself. This is the main attraction of the park from which it's named after, as well as River Nile with crocodiles and hippos at the riverbanks. The most magnificent view of the waterfalls is on the top of where the sight and sound of the Nile rolling through a wide. The site which can be reached either by a car and a 30 minute climb or leaving the para launch boat cruise. On these falls also you can find the boat cruises. The boat cruise is an impressive experience with lots of fun and entertainment among other activities done within the park. In the park, boat cruise is done to the bottom of the top of falls as well as the Albert Nail boat cruise which is done in two sessions. The morning boat cruise starts at 9 p.m. and afternoon boat cruise starts at 2 p.m. A lot of visitors come to Maxion Falls Nation with the main aim of seeing the most powerful waterfall. However, that turns out to be the complement to the terrific boat cruise along the Victoria Nile. There are two types of boat cruise in these Maxion Falls. There is the bottom of the falls boat cruise. This is the most exciting activity as you begin your boat cruise at the starting point. The boat sails near the hippos and crocodiles pool and hippo pool where you can be able to view lots of hippos floating on water. Water birds like cattle eggs, white eggs, among others. It's quite terrific right in the midst of the beautiful of Nile. The ride is more interesting with a couple of bottles of cold drinks with friends. The cruise gives grateful opportunity for you to take beautiful view of Yamsika cliffs, nature around the world, species such as buffaloes, elephants, among others. Then you'll be able to cruise near the bottom of the falls with spectacular view of Devil's Cauldron. So the boat doesn't get closer to the devil's cauldron. You'll also be able to see Nyamushika cliff rigged with holes formed from the force with which the water drops hit the ground from the cliff, thus forming holes to act as home for bird species where you can be able to see numerous bird species in the nearby trees. <laughs> And a better way to see these is by use of binoculars since they are small and tiny. There is the Alba Delta Launch Cruise. This starts from the Pada and the boat slowly sails on gently flowing Nile waters after losing its power from the false plug pole. 
Then from here, the boat cruise sails down the steam where the river splits up to create several floating islands of papyrus stones. At the Albert Del, it's where one can be able to sought after prehistoric shubi stock. The shub builds our fishes. Although the floating water vegetation could be a challenge, but the hippos come in for a help out. Because the shoe bills tend to follow on the hippo trails and becomes easier for their fishing as they afford. The delta boat cruise is quite amazing and terrific referred to as the sundown strip down the stream. However, the boat cruise experience is recommended for bird lovers, mostly to those who do morning cruise downstream to the Nell Lake Alba Delta. Along there, you are able to sightsee the, the show bill. It's four to five re hour return voyage where you can have great chance of seeing variety of wildlife such as hippos elephants and numerous birds. The boat cruise in Maction Falls National Park goes to 30 US dollars per person which is exclusive of refreshments however rings are also sold on the board at a reasonable fee. The best time to do a boat cruise is during dry season which starts in December to February and June to September. Maction Falls is located in the hottest region of Uganda with the temperatures ranging between 25 to 35 degrees Celsius. Other activities such as the bird watching. Broad species commonly seen between Pada Rest Camp and Ferry Crossing are spotted morning thrush, Vatiline Masked Weaver, Silver Bird, Birth Bird Warbler, Blue napped mouse bird ATC. This is the best site for the localized white ramped seat eater. All the activities such as the nature rocks. Tourists get to explore the wild on foot while in Maction Falls Conservation Area. There is a trail at Pada Wains throughout low hills, girls and forests around the river. Nature walks happen at the top of the falls, Kaniyori, Padidi, and Robong Forest. Robong Forest Arc Tourism Center is located in an island of tropical river forest in the southeast of the conservation area. Savannah grasslands surround the forest. With a tour guide, one can explore primitives like the red tailed monkeys, black and white colored monkeys, chimpanzees, birds, trees, and medicinal plants. There is also the heart of the Maction. In this area, it's located in the south part of Maction Falls National Park, covered by bush and forest, with life food track of savanna rolls down to the river Nile from Rabongo Road, which is centered beside the park. Along here, on the game track, expect to see herds of Ugandan cob and other species. Furthermore, the area has turned into a prime location for seeing. Lions among all these. Visiting the top of the falls is worth it because of its powerful war falls with splashing waters. Both bird and nature lovers can simply enjoy short treks beginning from Sambia River Lounge, Omubako Junction, or encounter the hidden treasures 
on foot along the north bank from Pada, passing the Emi River. All works done within the park can take one or one and a half hours. There is also sport fishing and marching fall. This is quite rewarding activity with great opportunities to land a large narrow patch, catfish and other catch species. During the sport fishing, you get a chance to see the biggest edible fish species such as the narrow patch. You can also catch other fish, catfish, tiger fish, electric catfish and the most delicacy for the fishermen tilapia. However, the sport fish in Machine Falls National Park is not regular fishing for food. Rather, it's based on a catch and release basis. Machine Falls can also be reached by air transport, meaning the easiest and shortest means of transport ever to access the park through Pakuda Airfield, which is 19 kilometers from the north of Para, that is the southern part of the park. Then the northern park is also outreached through Chobe, airfield to the east of Maxion Falls National Park and Bugungu near the falls in the south side of the park. Both charter and secured aircraft are available at Entebbe International Airport, Oka Jans, which is located 46 kilometers away from Kampala. What are you waiting for? Start your booking in advance with domestic flight by the help of tour operator airlines. To book, you can go to Aerial Link, Eagle Airline and others. All the bookings are handled by the help of the tour operator while on Uganda Safari. well well that's what we had for today hopefully you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to share subscribe leave a comment in the comment section until next time bye now